Hello, Venti viewers. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So tonight I wanted to go over how I edit some of the photos that I've been taking in here in the studio using a program called Luminar AI. It's gonna be very fast, very efficient, and the artificial intelligence that this program uses is absolutely insane. So I've got four images that we're gonna edit and each image required a different kind of edit. So we're gonna go into all of that. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have our first image. As you can see here, it's a little dark on the right side. So the way that Luminar does this is it has different templates that it suggests that it recognizes based on what you're doing. So it has monochrome, it thinks this would look good as a black or white or experimental. These all are templates that have to do with studio, portraits, photography, things like that. But the one that I wanna use is down here under portrait and it's essence and it's called flawless. Okay, so watch what happens when we do this, watch this. Done, look at that, we're done editing. No, we're not, just kidding. We're gonna do a little bit more. Okay, so what I love about Luminar and AI is it breaks it down all over here on the right. It kind of walks you through what to do. It's super simple, straightforward, I love it. So the first thing that I want to tackle is it's a little dark on the right side compared to the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to add a local mask and we're just going to do a basic gradient mask. So we're going to just kind of click and bring this over probably to right about there. First thing, we want to bring up the shadows. Look at that. Instantly it's already getting better. And then I might even just adjust the exposure just a little bit. Maybe just like that. And let's bring the shadows down to like 37. Okay, so already, and this is what I love about Luminar AI, it has this slider that goes back and forth. Look at this, we can see where we started and where we are so far. So, AI enhance artificial intelligence. It's really great. So as you can see, if I lighten that up, it kind of smartly suggests what you think you might want lightened up or darkened in the image. So I'm gonna keep it at about a 36. I really, really like that. Composition is fine, no need to really crop it at all. So let's go down here to light. So first thing, let me just see, yeah, you know, I'm gonna bring the highlights down a little bit, not too much. The thing is, I like to shoot so I don't have to edit a lot. So all of these photos that you're gonna see that were taken in the studio were at F8, 1 200th of a second, and ISO 100, because that's just what you shoot at when you're in a studio with flash lights structure so if we go to the extreme way too much i'm going to bring it down a little bit i don't like to edit where you can't see the actual pores on someone's faces i want to see that there's actual pores on the faces so i like to tastefully get rid of some of the structure color you know what i might do i'm going to go to our hsl slider and i'm going to change this to luminance and we're going to go to yellow let me see what that does. Yeah, that lightens up the background a little bit, which is good because over here is a little bit darker than over here. Details. I'm gonna bring the small details down probably to like a negative 10. And we're gonna bring the medium details up just to bring out some of that in her hair and her eyes, probably to about a 12. So, so far, this is where we started. This is where we are. Here's the slider. I mean, just super, super easy. But one of my favorite features is down here under portrait. So there is face, skin, body. This is where I'm gonna live in these three edits. So if we go to face, if we do face light, you can see that it, it smartly recognizes what her face is and brings up the light only on her face, which is absolutely incredible, such a time saver. And then slim face, very rarely do I use this, and if I do, it's just a little bit, just because I want it to be a little bit real, not super Photoshopped, although we aren't using Photoshop. Super artificial intelligence sized, that's a word, okay. So slim face, as you can see, it really, really slims down her face. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, too much. We're gonna keep it tasteful, we're gonna keep it like at a four. Now, skin. So Luminar AI detects what her skin is, and you just have this super easy slider to slide back and forth. I'm gonna keep it probably about a 52. So this is what we, this is without it, this is with it. So just very, very subtle, little, little change, not, not anything too crazy. And then shine removal, if we had a very 
dramatic photo, not like this one that had a lot of shine on it, this would be more beneficial. But this one, you can't tell too much, but basically it just gets rid of the shine on the face if there is any. And then let's go back to face. I wanna show you the eyes, so check this out. So eye whitening. So Luminar AI detects automatically where just the whites of her eyes are. And if you wanna make her look like a ghost, you can take it up to 100. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna keep it probably like 19 looks pretty good. We're gonna add some iris flare. I mean, look, just look at it. Would you just look at it? We also have dark circle remover. So that kind of gets rid of the dark circles under her eyes. And it even has improved eyebrows. So check this out, look at her eyebrows. Look at that. Absolutely insane what you can do. I'm not even, it's, it's, well, yeah, there you go. Okay, super contrast. So we have highlights, midtones, and shadows. So I want to affect the highlights. Let's just see what that's doing. So that's making everything a little bit warm and it's making the yellow a little punchier. So I do like that. And we're gonna bring up the shadows, not too much. And then we can also bounce, ooh, yeah. Let's balance out the shadows, bring a little bit more drama into the hair. We'll keep that at a 23. So this is what we started with, and that's what we're ending with. I mean, that, what did that take? Like three minutes, four minutes? That's it, done. One photo, out of the way. So that's about as much as I would do in, in this photo. So let's go on to the next one. Now, for this client, he wanted, this is for an album cover, and he wanted a little bit more grainy and a little bit more of a blue look to it. So we're gonna dive in and get a little bit more creative with it. Okay, so with this client, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to Essentials, we're gonna go to Close-Ups, and we're just gonna do Featured Face. So this is where we are, right, with Featured Face. That's where we were, this is where we are. Here's the slider, right? So just a little, just a little subtle adjustment. So now we're gonna get into this and have some really good fun. Okay, so first things first, it's a little dark. So I'm gonna brighten it up and we're gonna bring up the shadows. Maybe not that much, maybe right about there. I'm gonna bring down the highlights a little bit. Cool, done. Now, as we can see, it's a little shiny on the face right here and on the nose. So we're gonna go down here to skin and we're gonna bring up the shine removal and notice what it's doing. So let me zoom in here a little bit. So check this out. So we're gonna go to shine removal and look at that. That's so easy. Anyways, I think we have a good base edit for this photo. Now I wanna start giving it more of the blue grainy look that the client wanted. So we're gonna go down here to color harmony and we're gonna to go to color balance and shadows we're gonna shift over to blue, or sorry, teal, and we're gonna shift the other ones to blue. So now we have that nice blue look, but his skin is still pretty warm. So we're gonna go here to split color warmth and we're gonna make the warmer parts of the image, which is his skin, we're gonna make it cool. We don't wanna go that much, probably right about there. So this is where we started, right? This is where we are so far. So we have overall, we have this blue looking tint to it. Now he wanted some film grain. So we're gonna go over here to film grain and I'm just gonna jack that shit up all the way. He wanted it super grainy, super rough, and super big, grainy, rough, all of the grain. So the only thing is though, I don't necessarily want that on his eyes and maybe a little less on his skin. So we're gonna go over here to the mask and we're gonna choose a race and we'll bring the opacity down to like a 70. So what that means is I'm only getting rid of 70% rid of, of the grain that I just added. And then I'm gonna bring the softness down too so it's a little bit more precise. So now I'm just kind of erasing a little bit of the grain on his face just to kind of see what that looks like. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. And then we'll match his skin down here too. Better, and then right here on his very tiny arms. We'll get rid of some of that too. Cool. So this is where we started. This is where we are. And then I even think I wanna go down here to Color Harmony and let's go to the mid-tones and we'll do the same thing with the mid-tones where we adjust it to blue. So this is where we started. This is where we ended. See the difference there? I love this slider. But that's where we started and ended for this client. Super easy, cool. Photo number two, done. Photo number three, 
beautiful, beautiful photo for L'Oreal. No, I'm just kidding. Is that the one with hair? I think that's the one with hair. Anyways, so this photo obviously doesn't need much retouching. She's gorgeous, she's got great skin, but we're gonna go back down here. I love the flawless look, okay? So this is where we started, here where we are. It's a little bright though, so we can go down here and we can actually tell the image, don't give me so much flawless. I want a little flaws, just a little bit of flaws in the image. So we'll bring that probably right about there. All right, so next thing, always, always want to bring down the highlights. That's just my personal taste, just to kind of get that out of her face to darken it a little bit. Overall, color temperature looks pretty good. Structure, we're going to bring the structure down probably to about a negative nine. So this is where we were. Just very subtle adjustments. This one doesn't require all that much, but she has such beautiful eyes, so we're going to play with that a little bit. So details. I want to bring the small details down. That's kind of a normal thing for me, but we'll bring the sharpness up to a 32. So if we go down here to our face, eye whitening, let's make those eyes pop because if you're doing photos of headshots for actors, the eyes, they're all about the eyes. That's what they love. And then if you, if you really wanted to, you could enlarge the eyes, right? And give her really big bug eyes. We don't want to do that. But we do want to enhance the eyes a little bit more and give her a little bit more of an iris flare in there as well. And she doesn't really have too many dark circles under the eyes. We'll just bring that up a little bit. Her eyebrows, I mean, are pretty spot on. Now, mouth, this is kind of cool. So we also have lip saturation. So we're gonna bring up her lip saturation to a 33. And then we can also make her lips really red if we want to. We'll keep that at like a 10. We can also whiten her teeth as well. See, so it's very subtle, but she could easily be a model for brushing her teeth or something for oral B. So this is where we started. This is where we are, right? See the difference here? Not really much editing, but really, really like that. Okay, so for our last image, we went with some clamshell lighting. So with her, she's got a little bit more rougher skin, so we're gonna choose something a little bit more subtle. So we're gonna go down here to close-ups and we're gonna choose brush up. And this is gonna be kind of our starting point, right? Very subtle. Now let's get into it. So enhance. Do I want enhance to be that much? Eh, probably more like right there, I really, really like. So this is what we have so far, not bad. What I do wanna do is bring down highlights a bit. So as you can see, the background, instead of being black, it's a little bit more blue. So we're gonna go over here to color down here saturation and we're gonna bring the blue out and immediately it just kind of gives it a, a warmer vibe to it. Structure, we're gonna bring structure down quite a bit just with her rougher skin, but I don't want structure to be so prominent behind her as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose the erase tool again and we're gonna bring the softness down to about a 71 just so we can get a little bit more precise and we'll bring the opacity down to an 80. Cool, done. So as you can see, I mean, look at her skin already. So this is what we started with, right? See her skin, it's getting smoothed out, really, really nice. We're gonna go here mystical, and as you can see, we'll go to the extreme. Mystical gives it a really, almost an Orton effect. We're gonna bring it down, maybe like right about here. And I'm just, I'm really, really loving this image so far. I'm actually liking this edit a lot. So let's go to face. So we are going to do eye whitening. We don't wanna make her look like a ghost, so we'll probably keep it at like a 20. We're gonna give her some iris flare and some eye enhancer. Look at what it's doing, absolutely amazing. So it's getting rid of a lot of that just harsh lighting and immediately it's already looking so much better. So let's go down here to skin. Right back to skin, let's bring up the amount overall. I really wanna soften her skin because she's got some a little bit rougher skin than the previous ones. Just overall looking really, really good though. This is where we started. This is where we are. I think honestly, I think that's about done. I mean, it looks really good. There's four photos edited in Luminar AI in probably like 10 to 12 minutes at most. I hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna make some more videos like this. We might even do some videos of us actually how we shoot the stuff in the studio. So stay tuned. If you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.